Good timing. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I'm Kermit Lyman. I'm Kevin Cooper. You guys are from? The Nosebleeds. The Nosebleeds. That was really not in sync at all. Yeah, that's all right. You guys got to work on that. Uh, uh, we spent too yeah, much work. time being in time. <laughs> work. Now's, we now's work. The time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. The, fir the uh, first question I have for you is, uh, why do you have such a fancy, proper um, nosebleed? Because um, <laughs> we're the nosebleeds. Nose. That's what I mean, yeah. <laughs> the nosebleeds? <laughs> well, do you want to hear the real version, or do you want to hear the... The storybook version. No, the real version. Okay. Uh. Um, <laughs> originally, we were going to call the band Cocaine Jones and the Nosebleeds. And, um, you know, we kind of thought better because we, you know, people would make assumptions. And it was just a lighthearted, funny thing. Like, our songs are about stuff that, that I've experienced living and dealing with scummy people all over the place, you know? Um, certainly not through my own experience, but just things that I've oh. seen. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. You guys are not scummy at all. Oh, no, hell no. no. Oh, no. Um, we, you know, I've been in a million bands that always, the name that we picked, someone else has used it. Um, and I, I really, it's, it's difficult to come up with a, with a band name that's, that hasn't been used already. It's, it's not ridiculous sounding. So we looked up The Nosebleeds, and it was a band that Morrissey from The Smiths was in and Billy Duffy from The Cult was in before they were in the respective bands that brought them popularity. So we got kind of lazy. We're like, we're going to stick with this Nosebleeds thing, but we're going to go like the Billy Childish route. Who did the head coach? You know, right. Always, I mean, it's, it's that simple. There's, there's no. <laughs> so you made it the instead of the. Yeah, yeah, instead yeah, of the, yeah, right? The and you know, <laughs> and we just uh, the logo came from the the New York Times. Yeah. <laughs> so you haven't heard back from these people. Uh, they're like uh, mad yeah. about it. Oh no, no. After appearing on the show, they're gonna be like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Somebody's gonna look up and see it. They wonder if there's any old interviews with. The, the, the nose, please. Wait, wait, that's not them. <laughs> Who are those guys? Wait, they're still together? They look like Morris is really nice. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man, he got fat. <laughs> yeah, is he like 60? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're younger than he is. That's right. Right? All right. Combined. Yeah. <laughs> Combined. <laughs> What's the uh, the worst nose, please, you guys ever received? Each, each of your stories. Oh. Mm. Worst nosebleed I ever received. Um, I remember going to a couple of shows. I'm a short guy and getting an elbows in the face, you know, and <laughs> getting a couple of bad nosebleeds that way. And, uh, I don't know. What do, you, what do you have to say about that? Honestly, this is so not rock and roll, but when I was in like second grade or went to summer, between second and third grade with the summer camp, I'm pushing a kid on swing and he kicks his legs back. They nailed me in the nose with the soccer cleats, and that was. Another one, I remember I was in German class in 11th grade and I got a nosebleed on while I was taking my German test. And uh, and it was right, and I answered the question and it went blah, right onto the paper, right, on, right, right where the answer was. And then so after I, and then I just wrote over it. I, got, I wrote the answer through the, through the nosebleed again. I handed it back to him. It's like, see, it's, the answer's right there. It's too bad you didn't have a quill pen. You could have just like, oh, answered with blood. <laughs> Well, it kind of was like well, the pencil, the pencil kind of did that. Yeah. <laughs> See, I got the answer out. right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever notice? Or is just make or because I'm like a paranoid Jew or, or or like when um when you get a nosebleed, do you feel like you're you're gonna die? Like something is so so wrong, like it's never gonna stop. Um. Just make. Yeah, it might be you. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. The, the the common wisdom was back then, you know, like tilt your head back and pinch up here. And all that does is just make the blood go down your throat. Yeah, and you start choking. Okay. Yeah. 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 That, I've had that experience, and yeah, that, that definitely thought something was seriously wrong. Um, but yeah, that's, there's other things in this world that have made me feel much worse, like I was closer to death than just <laughs> like what? bloody nose. Uh, just hangovers. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad hangover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's, what's been your most... Uh, Edge of the moment. You know when people says we're gonna keep you on the edge of your seat. Mm -hmm. Which has been the most keep you on the edge of your seat moment you've ever experienced? Mm. As a band? Uh, just in real life. Mm. I was driving down. I was in a, another band. I'm in another band called Miking Marab. I was driving this down to North Carolina. Wait, say that again. Miking Marab is another band I'm in. Okay. And I was driving us down to play in Greenville, North Carolina, for this. This uh, festival called Spaz Fest. It's in Greenville, 
every year. I like the name and, of it. And uh, you know, I'm driving down through there in a U-Haul, 90 miles an hour, and and through a torrential rain, and uh, and I hit a hit a hit a patch, and and I it was high, I hydroplane for I don't know how far down a hill, and that was that was on the edge of my seat for that. And uh, Zach, our drum, the drummer, is also in the nosebleeds. He's in the back seat, doesn't even notice it all. He's reading a book to the whole thing, and I'm driving like this <laughs> for seven or eight hours straight, like this, till we get get into town. That 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 was that was on the I was on the edge of my seat for for a long time for that one. Hmm. I would have to say it's also tour related driving. Um, Kevin and I were in a band called The Rusty Nails ten years ago. Um, there was a moment where. I, I, I definitely, it's part of the reason we were late tonight, and so, you know, I'm a much more reasonable driver. Right. But back then, I just really didn't give a shit. And um, at one point, we're driving a turquoise minivan, so it's not really a tough, it's not like driving like a big 15-seat Ram van, you know, it's, it's a soccer mom van. Yeah. And doing like 110 miles an hour on, on the panhandle. In Florida, and like flipping off truckers, and just just being like really yeah. hungover and angry, you know, like. Oh, that's um, right. that was, that was, I was. You know, it's, everyone else is on the edge of their seat. Yeah, not you. Yeah, actually, actually yeah. They, was, they, was, they always made me ride shotgun because <laughs> right. I was the only. Because I'd be like, oh, kid's fine. Everybody else in the back is going like, oh. It's like, oh, I uh, trust kid. He's fine. There was a time when we left Nashville, and I started writing a song in in the van while I'm driving, doing 90 miles an hour. Like, it's a really bad fucking idea, but I'm like. He's driving with he's driving with his knee and right this he's like I got this great idea I'm writing lyrics and like everybody else in the back in the back of once again is back in the van like holding their eyes like crying and, well you know yeah comes to the point where we all live to tell the tale exactly I'm riding shotgun it's like oh he's five you guys fine. shut up I try to look when people are like that I, I have friends that drive like that now okay? mm -hmm. my yeah. friend JJ he'll he'll sit there you gotta trust yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. like it's all like all right. You gotta trust that everything's gonna be fine. Just believe that it's gonna yeah, be fine. Yeah, pretend nothing's gonna happen. Faith, yeah. pure faith. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be driving and he'll he'll go and and uh, he'll be like, so yeah, he'll have a whole conversation with me. I'm like, look the fucking road. <laughs> and he'll turn for a, like a solid minute and look at me. I'm like. Really? You are just driving down the road and not looking. Your peripheral vision can't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like we're driving on Link, Lincoln Drive. You know, have you ever, and it's, uh, it's this windy road in Philadelphia, and uh, he's rolling a cigarette in one hand, talking on the phone in the other, driving with his knee on this road that's like this. <laughs> you were doing that? No, no, no. no yeah, it was I, mean, I was riding right, 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 right. <laughs> no, we yeah, well, yeah, we were smoking a joint, too, at the same time. It was, we were, it was, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, you do a lot of crazy things. I had a friend one time. We were driving and there was like, it was like a, you know, just like a regular two lane road or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we're coming up to a bridge and he's decided he wants to start racing this car. Mm -hmm. So he drives on the other side of the road, that bridge, like, you know, like a hell. Right, right, so he's going, I'm like, you have no idea what, like he just drove, like if there was a car, we would have been automatically dead. But he was like, gotta win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, not with me in the car. Like he drove up. Like literally, I'm sort of going, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're all right. Gotta win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Carpe diem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I was reading the news uh, today that they're starting to talk about again about um, getting rid of paper money and going to coins. How do you feel about that? That'd be really bad for strippers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Painful. Well, <yeah. laughs> Instead of rolling, could crumble up the dollar. <laughs> I mean, like, enough of them got 